Cruz Armon's house of math. Got started a little late here. Well, let's see, what have we done so far? So far we squared numbers and cube numbers from 1 to 12. And then we fooled around with a little Pythagorean theorem. And now we're doing some application of Pythagorean theorem. And what we have here is, from here to here it's 21. From here to here it's 20. I want to know how far it is from point A to point B. Because there's all kind of stuff in the way. Put a tree there, put a lake there. see the number. 21 and 20. And actually, you know what, instead of making that A and B, I'll make it X and Y. What's the distance between those two points? What are the letters, what are the variables for 21 and 20? That's it, 21 and 20. But we need to plug it into the formula. Yeah, well, what's the formula? A squared plus B squared equals C squared. There you go. There you have it. So what what two uh, do you... I don't know. Well, that's what I'm going to ask you. What two do you have? Do you have, have C? No idea. Do you have C? I don't know. Well, how do you not know? You've got a picture to look at. I can't see the letters. There aren't any letters. There's 21 and 20. And then this is just that point is X and that point is Y. Then how am I supposed to know what the plug in Well, that's what I'm, oh, there you go. I'll let you figure that out. We just did it several times. So, where do you put it? What's your, what's your formula again? Your basic formula that we've been talking about this whole time? A squared plus B squared equals C squared. Alright. So, which is which? So, I'm going to ask you, do you, do you have C squared? I don't know. Well, how do you not know? Look at the picture. Because they're not labeled. How am I supposed to know if they're not labeled? Um, because why do you need labels? Plug it in. Okay, well, which one is A and which one is B? I have no idea. And which one is which one would be C? In any triangle, right? That's A, that's B, that's C. Every time. It's 29.6. Oh, uh, you must have made an error in mathematics because it's a Pythagorean triple. should be perfect. How'd you get 29.6? I did the square root of 881. What's 20 squared? 400. What's 21 squared? 441. And so what's the square root of 841? Oh. Punch in your calculator. Twenty-nine. There you go. Because they're Pythagorean triples, they're perfect every time. So that would be twenty-nine. And we could say, we'll say it's uh, miles, is our unit of measure. Okay. So if it was 21 from here to here, and, and, I, and like I said, um, nobody should have to tell you which one is A and which one is B. And in fact, would it matter? No. The only time it would matter, I mean, like this one and this one, this is a good one. Um, if this was 21 and you put 20 over here, that would be fine. But if you got confused and you put 21 over here and 20 over here, uh, now you're going to have a bad day, right? Yeah. Okay. You want to make one for me? 
Oh wait, you can't make a Python. Well, maybe you can. You could look it up online. Oh, here, I'll give you a big one. How's this? And then you take write this down on your piece of paper. Pythagorean triples. P Y T H A G O R E A N triple. Pythagorean. Okay. And then just go look it up when you get a chance. So I'll give you some really common ones. Uh, we already did 5, 12, 13, right? Uh, I think so. Okay, how about... Uh, let's do a monster one. Let's do a really big one. Because you got a calculator, so it shouldn't matter. Oh, let's do that one. All right. Now, can you see that as long as you have two sides, you can figure out the other side? Yeah. All right. So I'm going to give you... A fun one. Let's do, uh, let's do, uh, we'll make this 97. Oops, too big. We'll make that one 97. And then we'll make this one, the long set, we'll make this 72. How far is it from here to there? So wait a minute, are you going to add or subtract this time? I don't know. Uh-huh, uh-huh. There you go, good. So you just wrote down A, B, C, fine. So I've got, and you know that it's A squared plus B squared equals C squared. So you've got C, and you've got a B, but you don't have A. Somebody stopping by? I have no idea. It's four it's four thousand two hundred twenty five. Yeah, but that's not how long the side is from here to here. I mean if this is seventy two and that's ninety seven, there's no way that's four thousand. Okay, wait. So wait, what's the step that you left out? Bam! Got it! Correct the window! Right? Oh, come on, tell me that's not cool. You just knew this, you knew this, and you could figure out that. And what do you have to do? So you took uh, that number, which was, what was 97 squared? Uh, 9409. There you go. Subtracted 72 squared. Right? And then you wind up with A squared equals whatever that number was, and turns out it's 65, right? Yeah. All right. Good answer. All right, you want to do something else, or you want to keep fooling around with these? Or you pretty much got the idea? I have the idea. All right. So let's do something else. we still got to work with fractions with you, and we still got to work with some fast drill for skills. All right. The name of this game is supposed to be super easy, right? The idea is to be fast. All right, so let's do, and I'll just write symbols, but well, actually, yeah. We'll do it this way. One, two, three. This is totally rudimentary drill for skill. Uh, let's see here, seven. You can build it too if you want to. You don't have to. Nine. Let's move it up. Try to, oops, too far. Oops, too much. There you go. And then I got a 
nine hanging out over here. Pick a number, any number from one to ten, or actually from one to nine. One to nine. Any number. Nine. Nine. Let's do it. All right. So nine and four. How much? Uh, 36. No, no, no. Uh, nine times four is 36. I'll take it. But I'm just adding. Keep it easy. Oh, 15. Wait, how much? Nine and four? Oh, 13. There you go. You said nine and six. Well, look over here. Okay. All right. And then what's that? These are all going to be super easy, right? Fast. That is seven. Yep. Oh, 16. There you go. So, easy. What about that? 18. Bam. Look at that. I remember when you were on your fingers, brother. Now it's instantaneous, just about. All right. What's that? Eight and four. Twelve. Got it. How about that? Eight and six. Fourteen. How about... Well, that's easy. What's that one? Eight and eight. Sixteen. How about eight and three? Or three and eight. Eleven. Bam. See? Like I said, you have come very far in a rather short period of time. Uh, let's go with uh, seven. Oh, that one. What's that one? That's easy. Ten. Twelve. Wow. Without hesitation. I like it. How about that? Fourteen. Bam. Okay. Look at you. I'm impressed. I'm actually impressed. All right, so let's do the next step up. If I have 17 and 7, what do I got? 25. I mean, 20, yeah, 24. There you go. Good. How about 17 and 5? 22. Good. And fast. That's See, that's what you need. Speed is what you need. So you don't... Yeah, right, 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 you're not sitting there counting your fingers. Bam, right? Okay, how about six? Uh, 23. Got it. All right, so let's go the other way around. Let's say we'll go up to 30. We'll say 33, but now we're going to take away uh, seven. 26. Bam. Wow. Wow. Holy cow. All right, go four. Uh, 27. Excellent, right? That's 14. Uh, 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 did good job. Took a second of hesitation, but then came out of it. Uh, ooh, how about five? 29. Damn. There you go. How about nine? 25. Bam. All right. Enough of that. That's easy. Dude, I'm proud of you. I'm serious. Because before, like I said, when we first started out, you would be, well, you know how you would be. Oh, that was the other question I was going to ask. Did you get any more hundreds on any more tests? Uh, we didn't have any tests. Really? Since the last time I talked to you, you still ha you haven't had a single test? Yep. I don't know what this guy's doing, man. I'm impressed, though, because, well, actually, I'm impressed in the wrong way, because, what? It's been, like, three weeks since you, four weeks since you had a test. Yeah. See, and then by the time he gives you the test, you'll forget the stuff that you did four weeks ago. You know what I mean? Yeah. Oh, uh, well, okay. All right. I'm happy with that, though. Holy cow. That, uh, that right there, that's, like I said, market improvement. And that, that for that little exercise, you get an A+. All right. Let's okay. try some multiplication. No problem. You can do that. You can do any of them. Seriously. Right? Because yeah. what can we do in math other than add? Yeah. All right. Let's do adding over and over and over again. How about seven times eight? Well, actually, you know what? I'm going to do it this way. Hold on. Put them in parentheses. And then I'll use different colors. Let's go with blue. Seven. Eight times. Seven, eight times? Yeah, seven times eight. Hey, wait, are we multiplying? Yes, we are. Oh, 56. There you go. All right, I should have wrote it down, 56, just to get the visual. All right, 
Oh, so now, what's 56? This is too simple, but still. What's 56 divided by 7? Eight. There you go. All right. Instantaneous, right? Obviously. Okay. Look at you. Uh, how about... Uh, oh, you know what? I, I guess we have to get bigger, but let's warm up down here. How about 6 times 8? 48. Bam. All right. How about 48 divided by 8? 48 divided by 8? Mm-hmm. 6. Done. All right. See? No, no blocks, just symbols at this point, right? Hopefully uh -huh. you can see some of this in your head, though. All right. Uh, let's use a different color pen just for giggles. And let's get into the teens. How about 12 times 13? Mm, 156. That's pretty good. So we'll do the division. Uh, 13, 156. What's it got to be? Mm, 12. Got to be, right? Love it. Yep. All right. And I'm, I'm impressed. All right, so have you been practicing your teens? Yeah. All right. I can tell, man, because I, like I said, that should, all right, all right, let's do it. 14, 16 times. 24. Are you punching a calculator? Actually, no. you couldn't have been punching a calculator because it's, it's too fast. Two, two, four. You see how your brain, once you train it, how instantaneous it is? Right here, right, I'll draw a picture. One color. 100. Over here is six tens. Over here is uh, four tens. And over here is 24. There you go. 100, 224. Very good. Like, exceptionally good. All right. 17. We'll go with 13 times. Uh, 17, 13 times. Or 13, 17 times. Two, 221. Okay, so how are you doing this? Because so you're absolutely three. you're absolutely correct. 221, there's no argument. So 7 plus 3 is 10, and you already have 100, your base 100. So uh -oh. 100 plus 100 yep. plus 7 times 3 is 21. Bang, so there it is. I love it. I love it, right? Because there's your 10 right there, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Good job. So you taught yourself a trick? I like it. How about uh, 19? I didn't teach you that trick. You taught yourself that trick. 15. Nine or 15 times 19. Yep. Nine times 285. Wow. You're faster than me, bro. I'm serious. 100, right? 140 uh -huh. and uh, 45. Yeah, so what do you got? Then you have 285. There you go. Right? Right. So you see the teens, right? So bam, there's the 100 already, right? So this, this part's not going to change much every time when I've got single yeah. digits. Then this just, right? Then you just got to do that part and then do the multiplication at the end. All right? So it's basically yeah. a three-step process. But you can put this yeah. into two steps. And then just do that. Now it's a two-step process. Yep. All right. Uh, let's go with, ooh, 17, 18 times. Ooh, that's fine. Okay. 17, uh, two, no, 306. Damn. Faster than I could write it down. That's good. Now, you're going to notice that um, the other parts of the math are going to be oh so much easier now that you can do multiplication out to 20 times 20. And I will say, um, if this child can do it, any child can do it. Cause, but I mean, holy cow, I'm impressed. You're, do you're doing fabulous. All right, let's do some squares then.
just to be fast. We'll do that. We, you already did to 12, so let's do, uh, I don't know, let's do uh, 14 squared, 17 squared, 19 squared, just for giggles. Uh, 14 squared, 17 squared, 19 squared, 196. There you go. Got to end in 6, right? What's this one got to end in? End in 9. Yeah, so what's it going to be? 289. Yep, damn. And then that one has to end in... Oh, no. Um, what? 1. Oh, yep. it's 361. Yep, there. How many? 361. There you go. Okay. You're getting an A so far. That's, I'm, like I said, very good. Okay. I can die now. Uh, let's fool around with some problem solving because we still had some issues on that but uh, last time. But I think by now you should have it wired. But, dude, you're doing, I mean, high fives all, all, all the way around. Tell your mom you, you should get a dessert or something. I don't know. Get a treat for dinner. Uh... I'm not joking. Okay. Uh, you want an easy one to start off, or a medium, or a hard one? Mm, up to you. Okay, let's go with medium. Let's not start easy. Okay, so this is going to be whole numbers, no fractions, but still. Let's go with 3x minus, I don't know, 17 is the same thing as negative uh, 2x. Uh, plus eight, just to make it. I'm sure that's probably too easy, but anyway, give me an answer. See, at this point, if I give you too easy of a problem, you should feel insulted. Like, I can do that. What the heck? Give me a challenge. Five x equals twenty-five. It's five. There you go. And what are the two? What are the two numbers? You're correct. You went straight to x equals 5. Uh, so what's the number? 5x. I know. Well, what's 3 times... x is 5. What's the number over here? What's 3 times 5? Oh, 15. Minus 17. Negative 2. All right. Well, then this side better be negative 2, and it is, right? Negative 10 plus 8, negative 2. Is negative 2. Yep, so I was just like, hiding negative 2, right? This is a complicated way of saying negative 2, if x is 5. Yeah. Right? All right. Beauty. Okay. All right, all right. How about if I get bigger and I'll make this one a bit of a fraction and it'll be more fun. All right, 3x uh, plus 7 is the same thing. Oh, actually, let's make this bigger. 8x plus 7 is the same thing as, I don't know, 3x plus, mm, what do we got there? Yeah. Oh yeah, that'll be good. Uh, let's go with uh, 20, what am I going to do? 25. Now you should have a fraction. Mm -hmm. So eighteen divided by five. There you go. Beautiful. It's already there. X is the same thing as eighteen over five, <laughs> which is three point six. All three right. Three point six. I'll take three point six, but at the same time, why don't just make it fractional so we can play with fractions? Because you need practice a little practice with your fractions. So three and three fifths. That's the same thing as point six, right? Because uh -huh. three-fifths is the same thing as six-tenths, and six-tenths literally is six-tenths right there, right? Mm-hmm. All right. Now comes the tricky part, the part that I know you're not going to be pleased with, but just spend the time and do it. Three and three-fifths. Three. Tell me what the two numbers are. Um, so the, the left side... 28.8 and then the right side is I, 28 point eight. well 8 times 
for 8 times 3.6. Oh, I see. You're punching okay. your calculator. Put your no. calculator down. No, I, I'm just doing 8 times 3.6. I'm doing 3.6 times 8.0. Uh, okay, okay, okay. So do the fraction, though. I want the fraction instead. Okay, so 8 over 1 times 3 over 8. Wait a second. Wait, 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 wait. That's what I mean. That's why we're doing this. Because you're right. You could. Because you're correct. If you did eight times three point six, that's good. But what I'm trying to do, that's, and that's exactly what that is. But what I'm saying is, let's do it in fractions, just to practice fractions. So all we're doing is practicing. Is eight times? Well, uh, well, would you say eight over one? Right. What's this fraction? Well, that's going to be 15, 18 over 5, which was the original thing we had, right? You can do it that way. The other way you could do it is you can multiply 8 times 3 and then 8 times 3 fifths. Your call. 24, 24, and 64. I like it. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, I'll do it because that's, I'll take it. But you can do 8 times 18 in your head, can't you? Yeah. Which is what? Wait, 8 times 8, you said? 8 times 18. Oh, 8 times 18 is 144. And then divide that by 5. 144 divided by 5? Yeah. Well, 140 should be easy, shouldn't it? Yeah, 140 is like... 20. Wait, um, 2 minus 10, 4, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. Yeah, there you go. Exactly. Just count out the fives. That's all you're doing. How many fives are contained in 144? Well, 28 it's and 4 fifths of 1. 8. 28.8888. There you go. Oh, well, yeah, just 24.8. Or, excuse me, 28.8. Yeah. Right? And then look, let's do it. We can do it. The, that's the, the crazy way. How about I just did this? 8 times 3 uh, is 24. Yeah. Right? And then 8 times 3 fifths is 24 fifths, which is the same thing as 4 and 4 fifths, right? Right. And there we are at the same number, 28 and 4 fifths. Which way do you like better? I don't care. The easiest way for you is the best way, right? Mm -hmm. So some people like to do it in two parts where they do the, the whole number of this and that. Some people do it like the other way that I just did where I did uh, uh, 8 times the 18 over 5. But however you want to do it, as long as you come out with the right answer, 28 and 4 fifths. All right. Oh wait, we gotta do the whole other side. <laughs> uh, would I have 28 and 4 fifths? Well, this side better be 28 and 4 fifths, but let's just do the math. Like I said, what's the fastest way to do it? The decimal. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. But wait a minute. Hold, hold the phone. Three times three, it's already nine, that's gonna be way more than 28. What did we do wrong? What was our answer? What was X supposed to be? X for what? That, this, the problem that we just solved, this. Oh, X was, um, uh, um wait. Oh, X. Oh, it was 18 divided by 5, and then it was 3.6. Okay. Well, I have a serious problem with this answer. Huh? No, you're right. So what are we doing wrong? What am I doing wrong? Because what I'm saying is, if I put this, this is correct, right? Because, look, I'm going to wind up with 5x equals 18, right? And then that's x is going to be, am I having, I'm just 
I just didn't get any sleep last night, so I am being silly. Which is three and three fifths, like you said, three point uh, six. But what I'm saying is, if I have twenty five and I multiply three, that's a plus. I multiply three and three fifths. That's already three times three is nine. That's going to be way more than twenty eight. Is what I'm saying. So what am I doing wrong? Because this number and this number should be the same. Uh, I, I don't know. I don't know either. I'm serious. I don't, and I don't, I'm like, my brain is at the point where I'm fried. I've already taught quite a bit of math. And I, like I said, I didn't get any sleep. The, well, I got a little sleep. got a little bit of a nap. And then I tried to take a nap today and too much stuff was going on. It didn't happen. So I'm not in top form. But what is the issue? I'll have to come back and look at this video. Because you did it right, this is 5, uh, that is 18, uh, that is 3 and 3 fifths, but when I put 3 and 3 fifths back in here, I'm certainly not going to, oh, then we must have done something wrong over here. Yes, we did something wrong over here, we asked, we definitely did something wrong over here. Oh my goodness. What did we do wrong? Uh, this is plus 7, and 8 times this number, there you go, we'll be fine, it'll be fine, just do the math correctly this time, before I die, <laughs> 8 times 3 and 3 fifths, because we didn't add the 7 is the problem, oh. right? <laughs> Forgot, forgot to add the 7, we just went straight to, oh yeah, that's 28 and 4 fifths, right? Yeah. Okay, but then we got to add 7, so the number is actually 35 and 4 fifths. Now, I can see that, yes, that will probably be 35 and 4 fifths. In fact, yes. Right? Because if I multiply it 3 times, what do I wind up with? Do that math. One fast one. I'll do this part. You do the hard part. This multiply. Just get, get what's, what's three times three and three fifths? Oh, wait, wait, not, because, dude, I'm multiplying just 3 times 3 fifths, right? So I'm going to have 9 over 5, which is 1 and 4 fifths, which is 10 and 4 fifths. See, that's why, we got to practice, that's what I mean. The, the hole that I see with almost every teenager that I run into is fractions, right? You, when I first met you, it was, uh, yeah, well, actually, it was everything. You were still f fooling around your fingers from, for addition, and you were still, you didn't have your multiplication down. Now, your multiplication is excellent, I have to say. You're, especially the teens, super fast, you're accurate, it's excellent, right? The addition, I didn't see you even look down at your fingers, not even once, right? Yep. I mean, you're there. We, we, have, we have turned the corner. And then, of course, if I add 10 and 25, I'm going to get... 35 and 4 fifths, that's easy. But we're certainly not going to get 28 because we forgot, like I said, we forgot to add the 7. Minor detail. <laughs> Actually, big detail. And I didn't catch it because, like I said, I'm, 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 this is my last class of the day. All right. Yeah. Well, how long are you? You called me at like 5, right? Yep. All right. So you seven minutes. He's counting the minutes till class is over. I'll tell you what. Um, we did so much math today. For the first time in your life, you're getting, you can. Uh, normally, I would give you free time to just fool around and build blocks and build me a tower or something. But um, let's oh. just quit early. Okay. By seven minutes, you got a fifty-three minute class instead of a sixty-minute class. Okay. But there's been plenty of times when we went over an hour, so I don't feel bad. But I mean, seriously, dude, look at me. You did a good job today. You, I can tell you have been, uh, even with your crap attitude, 
you have been diligent in your uh, practicing your multiplication because there's no way you would have been that fast if you didn't practice from the last time I saw you. And yeah. you've absolutely done your right. Has you have you has you have you been working with your mom or you've been doing this on your own? On my own. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Where's your mother? I want to talk to her for a second. Mom. <laughs> You could actually stand up and go get her. Good God. <laughs> CroutonRamonesHouseOfMath.com for more.